that's a lot of wood. But that's also not bad for 16 years of living in a wet Pacific Northwest bus. Wouldn't you say? Also, check out this new uh, Zamp solar panel. 170 watts. We just took it out of the uh, box, doing some measurements and things like that. Also, whoever invented aspirin, thank you very much. My back feels a lot better today. Well, Mr. Navigation Nowhere, <laughs> what are we doing right now? Give everybody the lowdown. We are measuring for all the different beams and welding stuff we have to do to get his exterior table, his rooftop deck. So we're writing down all of our dimensions for angle iron and flat steel so we can drive, what, an hour? It's like an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. an hour and a half, so we don't want to make any mistakes. Yeah. So we're we're planning out all of the structures and stuff and we'll be welding hopefully within two days. Without giving too much away, let's kind of uh, give oh, did people I already, did a... Oh, give them something away? Nope, nope. The outside tables are not that much of a... Uh... Giveaway, I but I've uh, seen it on my bus. So. Yeah, we, we, without saying what exactly it's gonna be, we're basically gonna put a table here. So yeah, so we gotta weld in some supports from here to here, so that when uh, all of you lovely people come to see Jax's bus and you lean on that table, no, don't lean on it. Yeah, don't lean on it. But if you did lean on it, it's not gonna pull through the sheet metal because it's gonna be reinforced. So it's gonna be a what I like to think of as kind of like uh, people proof who don't know, <laughs> you know not to lean on something or jump on something, or if your kid decides to sit on the table, they won't fall. Oh. Or, or break your table. <laughs> True, yes. People proof, I like that. Yeah. All right, so even though my back's not in pain anymore, I'm still a little zoinked. But uh, we are up on the roof. We are uh, doing some measurements here and uh, some uh, rough sketches for what things will look like. Which we're not telling you yet. <laughs> we're basically gonna put four panel, four of these panels up here, and uh, we're gonna do a max fan type thing right there, just like the last one. But that's about all I can reveal because everything else is gonna be proprietary. <laughs> and uh, you know, just like the uh, new Apple announcement, this one's gonna be uh, oh, you gonna, know pretty gonna, top secret. We're gonna have a press conference. <laughs> We're gonna have a full press conference. We're gonna release everything, and then you guys can all go on Reddit and Twitter and complain about what we're releasing, yeah. how we didn't actually update anything from the last one. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. So basically, there's gonna be a really long line, like 24 hours uh, before uh, you guys can, uh, you know, see what what exactly this is here. So, and we're gonna have uh, you know somebody do the keynote, uh, you know. All that stuff. But anyways, look at how sexy these panels are. Uh, these, by the way, are the ones that I was uh, generously gifted by Zamp, made in the USA, um, and uh, you know, just really high quality stuff. You know, a lot of stuff isn't made in the USA anymore. All right, we did our measurements, and uh, we are heading to town. Well, I should say the city, Edmonton. It's about like an hour away. By the way, if you're wondering where we're staying, we're staying in Badge's uh, RV. It's really nice. Um, he's off uh, doing mechanics on a, a jet car. He's that badass. He works on jet cars. Um, so yeah, he'll be back in like a week. So we got a week uh, by ourselves. We were loaned a car. Uh, thanks, Billy. Uh, appreciate that. And uh, so yeah, this is... Uh, this is what we're doing today. We're just gonna go get some metal, and I'm still tired, but uh, pain-free. So we're having a reflective moment for the future. We're talking about how exciting we both are for the bus, how exciting it's going to be once it's done. And I told Navigation Network, remember this day, the yeah. day that we're fishing for salmon in Alaska or we're going on a hike, remember this conversation and we're thinking ahead like, oh man, how nice it would be when it's done. Yeah. So, I'm excited. Oh, I'm yeah. excited thinking about it. <laughs> Our 
our first uh, outing stop of the day. Uh, we don't have the dude's number because we forgot it, but we think we're at the right spot. <laughs> we're gonna borrow a welder for uh, Michael to yes. uh, weld together several things on the bus. I think our chances are 10 out of 10 that we're here. I hope so. If not, I mean, we'll just keep going. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that we totally failed the last place, wasn't it? But uh, <laughs> this is where we're going. <laughs> That's what happens. Hey, Canada. Well, great news. We got a welder and we got a, uh, a tank that we're going to swap out. We're going to stop by the, um, I don't know, welding store? Yeah, well, if there's any welders out there, you guys know what we're talking about. We're going to get a CO2 mix and then uh, get some other metal supplies and then head back after that. That stuff. We, got, we ended up getting five inches. We only need like three and a half, but it was like 10 cents more for five inch and I was like sure just give me that then I mean I don't know how they these steel prices are so <laughs> low yeah thanks to uh, the trade wars going on right now that I don't know we paid for something that was way cheaper than it would have been in the US but I think that's the exception to the rule because all the other RV parts like the fan and stuff yeah we're gonna end up paying more so I don't think we're gonna save money but hey uh, I'm happy. We're doing the whole <laughs> welding and re-putting in the door for about a hundred bucks in parts. All right, you see that gas gauge? It says empty. Well, I just spent like over a hundred dollars Canadian filling up the tank. But guess what? Are you kidding me? See, I told you. I was joking well, around at first. You I was in the store. I know, I don't know. I, I put it in this one. I was totally joking saying like, oh, yeah. Well, what if it's one of those trucks that has two gas tanks? Well, guess what? It does have two gas tanks. I, I filled up this one, and I have no idea how to switch it over. Why does this truck have two gas tanks? And more importantly, where is the switchover button? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Yeah. All right, let's try and find this. Dude, we got it. Oh, ow. Here it is. Front and rear. Check it out. All right, so, okay, keep, keep your, this is really, actually really funny. So keep your eye on the thing there. Here's a switch, I'm gonna hit the switch. Ooh, look at that, just like magic. You huh? gotta be kidding huh? me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. You almost ran out of gas in the highway. <laughs> uh, that's funny, I didn't even see it, it was right in front of my face. All right, let's see if it starts up. Let's are rock and roll, are, dude. Are we gonna fill the other tank? No, we'll fill it up later. <laughs> Got this badass welder, got some badass metal, we got some badass gasoline, and we got a badass navigation nowhere. Well, he's a little on the sleepy side. Oh man, my sleepy. He's more like sleepy ass. We just uh, had the longest day. <laughs> man, I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired. I'm ready for some more aspirin. Oh gosh. Um, yep, yeah, you're gonna have to move that out some time. But uh, yeah, we're gonna cook up steaks because that's a part of a balanced diet. And actually the steaks are vegan. So you are what you eat. So the cows eat the grass and the grass is a vegetable. It's, it's so the cows are vegan really. So we're eating the cows and so we're vegan too. You see how that works? Yeah. 